Welcome to Tillman's Ministries, a place where healing, restoration is flowing. We thank you for joining us today, and we hope that something on this broadcast will change your life. And we pray that God meet you in every situation that you are facing and he bring you out. So without further ado, here is Minister Tillman. Praise the Lord. This is uh, Minister Tillman coming to you live in the studio this morning. Amen. We're excited to be back in the studio. Uh, before we get started, we want to open up with the word of prayer. Amen. God, we just come humbly before you, God, saying thank you once again, God, for bringing us to this powerful radio station, God, for such a time as this, God. We want you to touch us, God, touch our hearts, our mind, our lips, God, that we can say something, God, to edify, to glorify, to lift up, to encourage. God, we come to lift up the name of Jesus today, God, to honor him, to worship him, to magnify his name, God, for he is worthy to be glorified today. God, we thank you, God, for going through these airways, touching minds and changing lives. God, we want you to do the things that only you can do, God. Touch them now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God. And we carefully give you all the honor and all the praise. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We want to continue this theme, a new beginning. Amen. You can start again. Amen. Uh, I was joined to this scripture study uh, in the book of Acts, uh, chapter uh, 9, talks about Paul's conversion. Amen. Uh, 9, uh, starting at verse number 1, uh, I'm going to read this out of a different translation. This is not the King James Version. Uh, but it said, Meanwhile, Saul was still breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's disciples. He went to the high priest and asked for him for a letter of the synagogue of Damascus so that when he was on his way, that if he found any in the way, amen, that he might take them as prisoners to Jerusalem. And as he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed round about him and he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul. Why do you persecute me? Who art you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, a man whom you persecuted, he replied. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do from here. Amen. This, this is Paul's conversion. Amen. Paul was crucifying the church. He was killing Christians. He thought he was doing a great thing. Amen. But God saw his commitment. He saw the, the desire, the thing that he had in his heart to do things like this. A lot of times God will take something and turn it around and use it for his good. Amen. What the devil or the uh, enemy means for evil, God can take it and turn that whole situation around and he'll use it for his good. And I, I believe that's what happened here to Paul because Paul was killing Christian. He was standing over them when they stoned Stephen. He was there. Amen. Thought he was doing something great for the kingdom. But he found out that when he was knocked down by this light, and he said, Lord, who art thou? And this was Jesus talking to him. Amen. But when he got up, he could not see until he got to Ananias' place. And uh, Ananias uh, touched him and he, he received his sight. And from that point, Paul began to, to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. He, he was saved. Amen. And that's what happens uh, to a lot of people. They be doing things that are contrary to the will of God. And God has to knock them down sometimes so that he can change that heart, change their spirit, change their attitude, change that whole life, change their whole situation around. And God is going to get the glory out of your life once he saves you and sets you free from that type of bondage. Amen. We're going to take a break here and then we'll come back and pick it up in Jesus' name. Amen. 
if you had an accident, what do you do next? Showtime Auto Center, 209 East Johnson Avenue, Inslee, Pensacola, Florida, is a certified body shop collision center serving Pensacola, Florida and the surrounding area with affordable prices and friendly service to every customer. Showtime Auto Center provides auto body repair, collision repair, auto paint, bumper repair, detail shop. They also sell cars. They also fix cars. That's Showtime Auto Center, 209 East Johnson Avenue. Call at 850-454-5926. 850-454-5926. Showtime Auto Center. God, excited to be back in the studio. I was thinking about Paul. Amen. Paul, uh, once he was converted, amen, Paul uh, wrote a lot of letters to, to the churches, starting in the book of Romans all the way down to uh, probably First and Second Timothy. Uh, but Paul became a great apostle. God can take your life and make it a whole brand new life for you. Amen. It's a new beginning, a new start, a new season, a brand new day. Amen. That Paul had done this thing. And, and Paul was a great apostle. He was one of the chief apostles. He started churches all over. Amen. Rome, Ephesians, Colossians, uh, uh, First and Second Timothy uh, wrote letters while he was in prison. Uh, he uh, was committed to the things of Jesus Christ. And that's what this is, a new beginning. You can start new this year. Amen. It don't have to be the same as last year. It could be a brand new start, a brand new season, a brand new beginning for you. Uh, but the main thing is to put Jesus, amen, the center of your life. Amen. Sometimes he got to knock you down like he did Paul. Sometimes he's got to blind you. Sometimes he's got to do the things that's going to stir up that gift in you. So he can bring it out and use it for his glory. Uh, I believe God is speaking to somebody today. He has a plan and a purpose for your life. He has a destiny for you. Amen. If we can get in that spiritual realm and find out what God would have us to do. I believe we can do some great things this year through Jesus Christ. If he comes and be the center of our lives. Amen. He's got to be the center. He's got to be everything. He's got to be surrounded by him. Amen. And if you do this to this year today, God is going to touch you. Amen. He's going to open up some doors for you this year. Amen. He probably got to shut some doors that need to be shut. Amen. But God is still here on the throne and he wants to do something great in your life today. Amen. A brand new beginning, a brand new start is what we're talking about today. Amen. And if you uh, just yield to the Spirit, yield to the Holy Ghost, yield to that voice that's tugging after you and calling after you, you don't have to run anymore like Jonah was running. Amen. But God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And I believe, amen, if you just yield to it now, God can do a great thing in you today. Amen. Ain't no telling who you can save, your family, your children, your co-workers. Amen. If you just yield, amen, to that call and say, yes, Lord, here am I. I will do it. Amen. And that's what Paul did. He was knocked down. He surrendered to it. He gave everything that he had to God. And he became one of the greatest apostles. 
amen, out of all of those, wrote half the New Testament, amen, and we're reading it today. It goes forever. This word is forever. It's settled in heaven. It's going to go out and not return void. Amen. Praise God. We're going to go to another commercial. Amen. We're going to come back, amen, with our speaker. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Showtime Auto Center, located at 209 East Johnson Avenue, Pensacola, Florida, stands ready to service your vehicle and offer to you some of the best services in Pensacola. They have a paint and body shop. If you need paint and body work, they do all types of body work. They do frame repairs. They also uh, do special paint jobs for dealers, and also they do candy paint jobs and custom painting as well. If you're in search of a pre-owned, reliable vehicle, you can get it at Showtime Auto Center. Center. They are ranging from $1,500 to $5,000, and they have dealer financing for their pre-owned vehicles ranging from $1,500 to $5,000. If they don't have it on the lot, hey, they can get it for you. Also, if you need detailing for your vehicle, they can wash, wax, and buff your vehicle, and they also provide full detailing packages. If you need work on your vehicle mechanic work, they can do that as well from engine exchange, tune-up, brake jobs, and much more. Call them today at 850-454-5926. Mr. John Holt is here. Amen. We want him to come with whatever the Lord laid on his heart and put in his spirit. Amen. To come and to deliver it to Pensacola and the surrounding areas. Amen. Minister John Holt. Uh, good evening, radio friends. Uh, my name is indeed John Holt. And I bring you greetings from the Back to Gospel program, its officers, and its members. Uh, I would also like to give honor to my pastor, Bishop Cleveland Hackworth of the Glorious Holiness Church, located at 1014 Northeast Street in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, it is indeed an honor to be before you today here on the Tillman Ministry broadcast. Uh, I pray that something that I say will be of an encouragement and an uplift to you today. Uh, I also pray that John Hope will decrease and that the Lord will increase and get all of the glory out of everything that is said and done here today. As a theme uh, for today, we're using the subject, a new day or a new beginning. So if you would turn with me to the book of Genesis, chapter 1, beginning at the first verse and reading from the King James Version, it says, In the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. light. And there was light. Yes. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So we find that the concept of time, which prefers today, was created by God. All right. uh, we also understand that days are measured by units of time, i.e. 24 hours constitute a full day. It is within these 24 hours that we are allotted time to work, time to eat, time to sleep and to conduct 
our affairs in life. It's a new day. Uh, we find that Webster defines the word new as not existing before, made, introduced or discovered recently or now for the first time. So as we explore the term new day, we see that it is a day that has not existed before. I then would also implore you to look at the new day as an opportunity. Yes. A new day is an opportunity to make a change or do something different. A new day is an opportunity to reaffirm or strengthen a resolve you are committed to. As I continue to ponder this new day, I was reminded of Psalms 118 and 24. And again, reading from the King James Version, it says, This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Now, life can be hard at times. Circumstances and situations can weigh you down. Problems seem to rise and fall continually. Job 14 and 16, King James says, Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. We are all dealing with one issue or another. So it is important for us to remember the blessings that come with a new day. Right. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. As I rejoice in this new day, I again find opportunity. In this new day, I find it important for me to give God thanks and praise. No matter what my situational circumstances may be, I can thank him because he woke me up this morning. Right. There are some that laid down last night and did not rise yeah. this morning. In this new day, there is a roof over my head. Someone would not have a place to lay down tonight away from the elements, the cold, the rain. And it is cold out there today. Yes. Hallelujah. In this new day, there is food upon my table. Someone this day doesn't know where the next meal or drink of water will come from. In this new day, I rose with a portion of health and strength. Listen, someone today is lying in a hospital bed, not even aware that they are in the world. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. This is a new day in which I can tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. A new day. As I continue to ponder this subject matter, my thoughts centered around the transition from 2023 to 2024. Many people, no doubt, did the tradition of making a New Year's resolution. Again, I see this as an opportunity in the face of a new day. All right. As I thought more on this subject, I was reminded of Saul. You talked about Saul, Minister Tillman. Acts 9 tells the story of Saul as being a man who was against the teachings of Christ and he wanted to tear down what he considered a major threat to his way of life. Right. Acts 9 and 1, King James Version says, And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughtering against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus to the synagogue that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. We know the story. This is where Saul has an encounter with the Lord on the road to Damascus. He is instructed to go into the city. While he was there, the Lord told Ananias to go into the street which is called Straight. Inquire of the house of Judas, for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prayed. Talking about a new day. All right. 
2 Corinthians 5 and 17, King James Version says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. As we see, Saul has a new beginning. But even though Saul has come into the reality of a new day, not everyone is willing to recognize his change. Saul went to Jerusalem preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yet, people were afraid for many knew of his reputation for killing the Christians. It was Barnabas that took him before the apostles. I reference this because as we come into our new day and decide to change our life and to turn to follow Christ, there will always be some who will only see the person we once were. They will always try to tell you or remind you of the things you've done in your past. They will not accept your new beginning. Right. It's important for me to remind you that Saul of Tarsus met Jesus on the road to Damascus, a new day. Saul of Tarsus Met the, had the scales removed from his eyes on the street, which is called straight, and began to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, a new beginning. Yes. Saul of Tarsus' name was changed to Paul, and he, was, and he called himself a servant of the Lord. And unlike a New Year's resolution, something to be pushed aside or forgotten, Paul embraced this new life in Christ as important and necessary. We're talking about a new day. Yes. Philippians 3 and 13, King James Version says, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. So my brothers and sisters, is today your new day? Is today your new opportunity? Will today be your new beginning? And if today is a new day, then today is a day to seek the Lord. I would suggest to you five things that you need to do when seeking the Lord. First, number one, open your heart. Proverbs 3, 5, and 7 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. Right. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Number two, you need to pray. Yes. Luke 18 and 1 says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not faint. Then Mark 9 and 29 says, This kind come by praying and fasting. Prayer is essential. Prayer is how we communicate with the Lord. Yes. Number three, Hallelujah. you have to be still. Psalms 46 and 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. Stop trying to do it your way. Learn how to wait and lean and depend on the Lord. Number four, read your Bible. Second Timothy 2.15 says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, not unto man, unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And number five, last but not least, get around other saints. Hebrews 10 and 25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Because this is where we draw strength. This is how we draw comfort. This is how we draw encouragement. This is how we draw teaching. This is how we get that word that pushes us to keep going forward when we want to take down. This is how we have someone uplift up when we are falling by the wayside. Get around some saints that have been there. Yes. The word says he's called, he calls the, the young because they're, they're strong. 
He calls the old because they know the way. So we need to get around some godly saints if we're going to try and follow Jesus. Is this day your new day? Is this day your new beginning? I pray that something I said today will encourage you, will uplift you, will, will carry you through this new day. I thank you for your time. Amen. Praise God. I'm just feasting in this uh, rich word that was brought by Minister John Holt. Amen. Uh, I was thinking as he was talking about Saul, uh, we didn't talk to each other. I just gave him a theme, but God knows. Confirmation. Amen. Confirmation was there. Amen. Everything he said, I agree with it. I enjoy it. Amen. This was awesome. Amen. Uh, just want to talk about the Tillman Ministries. Uh, if anybody missed this episode, man, you can go to the YouTube channel, pull in Tillman Ministry. You can pull this one up. This one is going to bless you, bless your household. Uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, this is a brand new year. We want to give you some word that's going to help you. Amen. That's going to encourage you or going to do something in your life, change your life. Amen. Like Paul's life was changed. These words are our spirit. They are life. They're 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 rich. Amen. It touched my soul this morning. I, I I'm, I'm bubbling within my spirit. Amen. And that's what this is all about, man. I, I I get something from every speaker that comes on here. Amen. And then I I just listen to it throughout the whole week. And every time I listen to it, I get something new from it. And that, that's how God is. He's going to feed you through His Word, Amen. through His people, through His ministers. Amen. I thank uh, uh, Minister John Ho for yielding to God, yielding to this uh, awesome job. I, I implore him for this. Amen. Uh, when I asked John to speak sometimes, he looked at me like, I said, man, we want to hear from you. I heard from him today through the word of God. Amen. And I'm bubbling within my soul. I know somebody out there has been touched. Amen. You can uh, just, uh, just go on and on with this. God will, will be performed. Amen. Amen. Also, I want to talk about our church, man. We are so excited about our church. Like he said, it's cold out here in Pensacola. Amen. I think it's supposed to be uh, about 10 degrees tomorrow. Yeah. It's cold. Amen. But Jesus is the hot, he's the high tower. He's the, he, he's the fire. I feel the Holy Ghost here in this studio. Amen. Going through these airways, touching hearts, changing lives. Amen. And that's what this is all about. Amen. If one soul repents and, and finds Jesus, Amen. Hey, it is worth it all. Amen. Amen. No matter how cold it is out there. Amen. God can save you no, no matter where you are. If you're out there on the streets today and listening to this in your radio car, God can touch you and save your soul. Amen. Uh, just want to talk about our church. One time, uh, Pastor Tyler Burns is going to be bringing the word Sunday, 1030, 1580, Savanti Street. Amen. He's been preaching the word of God. He kind of touched along these lines a little bit. <laughs> going higher. Amen. Don't want to be the same. Want to be changed in Jesus' name. Amen. But we want to invite you out. Amen. You don't have a church to go to Sunday? Hey, come. 1030, 1580 Savanti Street. Pastor Tyler Byrne is preaching the word of God. People are being saved. People are being added to the church, just like in the book of Acts. They were added to the church daily, such as to be saved. And we are seeing that, folks. Amen. Whatever you need from God, just come out. And lay it at the feet of Jesus. Lay it at the altar. And God is going to help you get through your situation. No matter how hard you think it may be. God is able to do an impossible. He's able to do miracles. They're still existing today. The same yesterday, today, and forever. And we just want to bless you and your household. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to the Tillman Ministry. We want to look forward to seeing you next time.
Thank you for tuning in to the Tillness Ministries today. Our prayer is we hope that something that we have said, something that God has put in our heart, help you get out of every situation that you might be facing. God bless you. We look forward to coming back on this powerful radio station. Pray for us as we pray for you. And God bless you. And we love you much. Coming from the Tillness Ministry.